Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. What's going on Lumio Station? My name is Paris and welcome to another top 10 list. Today we have the top 10 Dragon type Pokemon and before we get started I just need to say I know a lot of you already know this but any top 10 list is 100% opinionated. If you don't agree with my opinion and you have a different list of your own please make sure to leave in the comment section below. I always like seeing what you guys think about the different types of Pokemon and such and uh, Dragon type is an actually really interesting type so I'm super hyped to get started with this and uh, if you do enjoy the video please leave a like it supports the channel and uh, makes me feel super happy. So, without further ado, we're gonna get started with number 10. So, coming in at number 10 is gonna be Salamence starting off the list today. And some of you be, might be like, you know, Salamence is actually a really good Dragon type. Why is he number 10 on the list? Why isn't he higher up? Well, of course, what, again, this is 100% my opinion. And uh, I feel like Salamence is a little bit higher on the list because it's not really a Pokemon that I use too often. I remember spending ages in, like, uh, I think it was Meteor Cave or Meteor Falls, which you have to like go into a certain room to capture Bagon. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing all that. Come on, Salamence isn't that great. But of course, I do love Love Salamence. I love its design. I feel like it's the closest thing to an actual dragon you're gonna get from dragon types. Of course, Rayquaza has the whole Chinese sort of long dragon. This this Salamence is the sort of uh, more modernized, I guess, dragon that you're used to seeing in sort of movies and things. And I really like its design. The only thing I would say about its design is the wings look kind of weird. I don't know. It just looks like someone's uh, stuck a bit of cardboard and painted it red. But whatever. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Salamence is of course an amazing dragon type Pokemon. It has amazing attack, amazing, amazing everything pretty much, apart from. Uh, Amazing, not so much amazing uh, resistance to ice type moves, but uh, if you're a dragon type, you know, ice type is always gonna be a fear. So that's why Salamence is number 10 on today's list. So coming in at number 9 today, we have Kingdra, the the amazing ace that Claire uses in the second generation games, and of course the fourth generation games, if you're gonna count Heart and Golden Soul Server, of course the fourth generation games, but uh, Kingdra is number nine in today's list, and this thing is such a threat when you come to Claire's gym, because you're like, oh, dragon types, no, Ice Path is just uh, down the road, I'll go catch myself a swine up or something. Then you come to you come to Kingdra, the ace, and it's like, oh, wow, this is this is a water type, it just wrecked my team, that's it, GG. <laughs> and it totally, absolutely destroys me, and um, I think Kingdra's an amazing dragon type that's it's pretty you know, underappreciated, I guess. It's in the UU tier, and a lot of dragon types are kind of higher up, apart from, you know, some certain dragon types are, that shall not be named on this list. <laughs> Altaria sucks, but... <laughs> Kingdra is number 9, and I have actually had the opportunity to use a Kingdra in one of my latest Let's Plays. And can I just say that thing absolutely destroyed, that thing did work in that Let's Play. And the only reason it's not higher up is because uh, I don't think its design is all that dragony. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now, I don't think it's the most dragony looking Pokemon. And um, there are obviously some Dragon types I do prefer to this one, which is why Kingdra is number 9 on today's list. Claiming a very respectable number 8 spot today, we have Palkia, the legendary Pokemon. And of course there's gonna be some legendary legendaries on this list because there's a lot of dragon legendaries and there's not so many dragon type Pokemon so of course I'm gonna include some legendaries if your list does not include legendaries then by all means go for it uh, it's just that I, I love a lot of legendary dragon type Pokemon I think they're amazing and Palkia is definitely definitely up there as one of the best this thing just looks absolutely menacing and, and powerful and just bulky I, I love this thing so much and it's probably stemming from the fact that I actually got uh, Pokemon Pearl first over Pokemon Diamond I did get both the games I do like Dialga, don't get me wrong here, do like Dialga, but Palkia just uh, wins it out for me because I, I got the opportunity to use it first. Of course, uh, when I got Pearl, I was a little bit younger, so I was using legendaries on my playthrough teams, you know, why not? It's a big, badass Pokemon. Why wouldn't you use it on your team, right? And that Spatial Rent absolutely destroyed pretty much the last gem in the Elite Four for me, which is why I love Palkia so much, and it's gonna be number eight on today's list. Coming in at number seven, we have Tyrantrum, the new Rock Dragon type introduced in Generation Six, and my god, this thing looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely love its design. I love that they added a sort of T-Rex Pokemon, the, the big dragon thing. It's not even a dragon, it's, it's a dinosaur and a dragon at the same time. I guess like they couldn't add, add a dinosaur type just for own Pokemon. I, I guess that's why they didn't add, I guess that's why I made it a dragon, but you know, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. I think this thing is absolutely amazing. It does have quite a few weaknesses, but um, you know, the dragon type does actually kind of make up for that a little bit. It does have the weakness to ice and the weakness to dragon, but uh, it kind of makes up for the weakness to water that rock originally had, so you know, that's amazing. It has such high attack, it just destroys everything. It's absolutely amazing. It's super powerful, and I love Tarantrum. That's why I, I do prefer Tarantrum over the other fossil, although the other fossil is also pretty cool. 
well. The other sixth generation fossil. And Tyrantrum is probably my favorite Rossel. Uh, Rossel? What? My favorite fossil Pokemon um, of all time. You know, there's been some pretty cool fossil Pokemon, but Tyrantrum definitely takes the cake as this massive dinosaur just destroys all everything in this path, which is why it claims number seven on today's list. So at number six, we are going to have the mascot for Pokemon White. We have Zekrom, the the deep black Pokemon, as this classification states. So why why was it the mascot for Pokemon White? Were they trying to be ironic or something? I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about the Pokemon. I think Zekrom is an absolutely amazing design. Probably one of the best designs in Pokemon. Now, of course, that's only my opinion, but I absolutely love its design. Some people may not like it because it's all one color and it's just like different tones of it or whatever, but I think his design is absolutely amazing, it looks completely badass, and his typing is pretty good as well, you know, Dragon Electric is not a bad typing, it's not a bad typing at all, Electric only has one weakness, and although Dragon doesn't nullify that weakness, it's still, it's still sitting pretty with a, a decent amount of resistances and the such and the like, but uh, Zekrom is a massively powerful Pokemon, it's so much attack, it is so much, it is so much attack, if you slap a choice band on that thing, it'll be destroying lives left and right, and I absolutely love Zekrom, unfortunately, I did um I did get Pokemon Black when they first came out, so I didn't I didn't get to use a Zekrom. I always stuck with Reshiram, and Reshiram's cool and all, but Zekrom's where it's at. Zekrom's where it's at, which is why it makes number six on today's list. So coming in at the halfway point is going to be Mega Charizard X. And before you start typing in that comment, but Charizard's a fire flying type, you can't have it on the Dragon type list. If you didn't know, and I'm assuming most of you did, so if you didn't know. Charizard got a Mega Evolution in Pokemon X and Y. It got two, actually. It got two Mega Evolutions. One Mega, Mega Charizard Y, which, yes, that is a Fire Flying type, but uh, the other is Mega Charizard X, which is actually a Fire Dragon type. Which, um, it, it pretty much lets me put it on this list because it is a dragon type. Don't worry, I already know that it's not originally a dragon type. I, I already know that stuff, but I really wanted to put Mega Charizard X on this list because it's new and shiny and I absolutely love this thing. I do prefer Mega Charizard Y just a teeny little bit more, but uh, Mega Charizard X is just such an amazing, beastly Pokemon. It can bulk some hits. It's got some increased defense there. It can bulk some hits now. It can be a bulky Charizard with Dragon Dance and stuff and make its speed and attack go up as well. It's got tough claws. It'll be ripping you to shreds with its dragon claws and its fangs. It's got blue fire coming out of its mouth and everything. I love its design. I actually love that they made the I love that they made the design look kind of like the original shiny Charizard, you know, they got the black stuff there and uh, a little bit of blue there to, to go with the blue flames and stuff, but I, I think a Mega Charizard X is amazing. It may not be originally Dragon type, but it definitely deserves to be on the uh, top 10 Dragon types list. So next on the list at number 4, we are going to have Hydreigon, and this thing is an absolute monster. Just its design gives off this essence of power and, and menacing and evil, even though it's not, it's not particularly evil, you know, it's what they say about the trainer. It's, it's the trainer that's evil, not the Pokemon, of course, but um, this thing is an absolute monster and, you know, back in the 5th gen days, it's gotten nerfed now in uh, X and Y because of the whole fairy type doing four times damage against it, which I think that made a bump it down to UU. So, I mean, we're not talking Smogon tiers right there, but uh, it did receive a pretty big nerf. In terms of not its stats or its typing or anything, but, uh, you know, there's a lot more stuff that can hurt it now. But back in 5th gen, back when you have to fight the evil team leader, and, and you're fighting his Pokemon, you're, you're plowing through his team with your, your starter or something, whatever, or the legendary you picked up, and then he whips out this thing as his ace. It's like, well, GG, back to the Pokemon Center. We'll try again next time. But this thing is an absolute monster and a pain to beat, and uh, it just gets worse than the, like the hacks and such and the Hydreigon is just such an amazing Pokemon which is why it really deserves to be higher up on this list. So uh, Hydreigon is going to be number 4. Moving on to number 3. And who is number 3 on today's list you ask? Well it's got to be Garchomp, this massive land shark beast of a monster of an absolute amazing Pokemon. I love Garchomp and um, Cynthia is actually my favorite champion which is probably why I like Garchomp a lot. And you're probably like, oh you know Cynthia is not so great, I beat it with my choice scarf, Mamoswine that used Blizzard and such, and Ice Fang and Ice Shard. Well, if you don't have an Ice type, that is GG. Remember what I said about Hydreigon being like a monster and a beast to beat in uh, the fifth generation? In fourth generation, if you didn't have an Ice type, you were not beating this thing. This thing even had Flamethrower for maximum coverage against Ice type. So if you didn't have a Speed It, you were gonna lose anyway. If you didn't have Ice Shard, pretty much, you weren't gonna win that battle. And I know this is pretty much an over exaggeration, and it's not amazing. It's not the best Pokemon ever. But um, this Cynthia's Garchomp was probably one of the hardest things I, I ever encountered in a Pokemon game, and it really deserves to be on the list, especially since uh, Garchomp is such an amazing competitive Pokemon as well, and I really like its design. The only thing that really lets it down is its shiny form. 
Have you seen its shiny form? It looks exactly the same! What's the point of having shiny form if you're not gonna make a difference? I don't know, I don't know. Garchomp, number three. Coming near the end of the countdown, we have Flygon as number two, and you might be thinking, well, Garchomp's obviously the superior Dragon Ground type. Why are you having Flygon on this? Well, I'm having Flygon on this because, of course, it's 100% personal preference, and I absolutely prefer Flygon to any other Dragon type on this list, apart from number one, of course, because it's, it's number two and such, but I really like Flygon because Whenever I use it, whenever I use it in Let's Plays, or whenever I use it in my own personal playthroughs of Pokemon games, it always seems to pull through, and I love its design. It's got the little goggles on there, its shiny form is pretty cool too, but it always seems to like pull through in the Let's Plays and such, and uh, my own playthroughs. It's always an amazing Pokemon. It's always there for you, you know? You, you go into the, the desert or whatever, the desert region of the game, whether you're, you know, playing a Sinnoh game, no, a Sinnoh game. Actually, yeah, Sinnoh game. You go into the desert region, you can find a Trefinch, I believe. Or Hoenn game, a Unova game. It's always just there waiting for you. It's like, yo, what up? Trap Inches is waiting for you, and you're like, yo, you evolved this into a Flygon. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be by your side. It's gonna be helping you through the game. And um, it's not ridiculously overpowered, but it's not weak either. I, I just love Flygon. I don't know what it is about it. It's probably just because, you know, personal preference and experience and nostalgia and such. And I really think that Flygon is the superior third generation Dragon type. Sorry, Stalamence. Flygon is just taking the cake today. Flygon is number two. Now, if you didn't predict this as we were going down the list, and the number two was called, Flygon was called up as number two, then I don't know what you were thinking was going to be number one. But of course, I'm going to have the OG Dragon Knight, uh, the OG Dragon type Pokemon, as I meant to say, but there, I just gave it away. I just gave it away. It's going to be Dragon Knight at number one, and I absolutely love Dragon Knight. You know, it's the it's the innocent, big, gullible Pokemon. Not gullible, but you know, he's the, he's the big, innocent Pokemon. He's the, he's the Generation 1 Pokemon, and for whatever reason, they decided to make an entire type in Generation 1 just for this Pokemon. Pokemon. Now just think about that. They also did that for the Ghastly line and Gengar and stuff, but they made an entire type just for this evolution line. I don't know why they did that. Like, they could have added so many more Dragon types. They could have made a Charizard a Dragon type, which is obviously fixed in Generation 6 with the Mega Charizard X, like I explained before on this list. But, um, I really think that Dragonite is deserving as number one because this thing puts in the absolute highest amount of work you could ever need. It's got that, if you give it a weakness policy, if you give it a weakness policy with that multi-scale, ice types will not be doing shit to it. Okay, we'll be doing shit, but uh, it's still four times damage. Ice types will not be taking it out anyway. It will get a weakness policy, you drag and dance up, and you prepare to sweep. If the enemy team does not have ice shard, that's sweep. That's GG. That's it. And I absolutely love Dragonite. So, that's why Dragonite is number one. So that's gonna be the end of this list, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, can you please hit that like button for me? That would be amazing. And of course, remember to share your own uh, favorite dragon types in the list uh, in the comment section below not the list below the list is in the video but um that's gonna be about it for me today uh i hope you enjoyed this video once again thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time